Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the FIFA 22 Holland card to review today. As you guys know, the FIFA 19 Holland, or not FIFA 19 Holland, excuse me, FIFA 21 Holland, I personally thought that the card was complete garbage, okay? So I just want to let that be known for a lot of you guys that I personally thought that he was complete trash, right? With this Holland card, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot four, high, high work rates, left footed, three star skills, three star weak foot. Uh, so far, so far from what I've seen this year, the high, high work rates doesn't seem to be like a hugely bad thing when it comes to using them in the striker position, right? So uh, it's just because of the way that the buildup kind of works in regards to being a little bit more slower than pushing forward and all that kind of stuff. So uh, definitely some interesting stuff there. Uh, in-game player traits, we have the solid player trait in-game attributes. We're looking at uh, 87 for pace with 99 for sprint speed on an engine chemistry style because we're boosting his agility, balance, and dribbling as much as possible. Uh, his shooting looks really, really good, to be fair. 94 finishing, 94 shot power for the meta of how the game works right now for high percentage strikes um, is pretty up there uh, base card stats are passing not great on the card obviously but you do uh you probably have to work with it to be fair you probably have to work with it uh, and then last but not least for physical stats you know he's actually a pretty physical dude he's a six foot four player with let's see what body type he has i wonder if they actually gave him his own body type i think they actually did if i'm not mistaken so let me just check this really quickly Erling Holland has a unique body type. Yeah. So unique body type while being a six foot four player with the physical stats that he has on the card. Um, all of that definitely looks very, very interesting for the card. So I've heard really good things about him so far. We're going to go ahead and try him out in a couple of games and uh, hopefully he is a beast. Oh, it's going to go in. Oh, I, I don't know. Listen, I have absolutely zero clue as, <laughs> as to how that went in, but uh, I will definitely take it every single day of the week. Physical strikers for the win, eh, boys? Oh, what a save by Areola. I have to do like a ball roll there to shoot a cross goal or something. Listen, man, in previous years, like, at least last year, bro, last year, this card was literal trash. Like, his team of the season was just non-existent. Non-existent, bro, I'm telling you. Like, I tried out that card. I'm like, this card cannot do anything in this game. This card, though, wow, man, they did a great job with the physical strikers. Like, that, like being able to get into that position just to finish that opportunity, like, is, is noticeable just by itself, you know? Oh, even like comes close there too. I like that. Oh, oh, hey, hey, foul. Come on. I actually might be able to do the free kick tactic here. Because he's left footed. He literally has blue hair from the free kicks. That's actually hilarious. You know what? I'm going to pass this off here. Pass it to Holland and then a power strike. Oof. Little flick. Body faint. Oh, I, I mistimed that one like completely. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Oh, it's a foul? Okay. I, I, I was kind of thinking like, yo, if I go for the animation, maybe the game will act like it's a body to body. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what's funny is that like, I went to uh, Division Rivals by accident on Giyu's account. <laughs> and I'm using like players just like for the sake of the review, right? And I had to like make some subs because I was like, oh wait, it's Division Rivals. <laughs> Man, Holland is, uh... you know what? They did a good job with this card, man. Like, the, the physical strikers in this game, they're actually good guys. So, you know, if someone like Andre Silva, for instance, gets gets a card in the future, like, he's going to be freaking dope, man. So with Holland, guys, like, in this game, obviously, his dribbling is still going to be the way that it is because of him being a physical striker, but... Like, you just compensate for it because it's worth it for him. Because the dribbling works really differently this year, right? Like, players are more emphasized, so a player like Holland's actually pretty solid, man.
Oh, and I had the angle there, eh? I had the angle there with the Holland. Probably should have just gone for like a shock cancel or something there. I had to do like a... Once I got that ball there, I had to react quickly and kind of do like a first time fake shot or something to kind of work that space on the inside there. Oh, that was a beautiful build-up play. I like that. I like that Hazard kind of like went into that side position there. That was sick. Woo! You have to take an extra touch there, okay? You do. I have to take the extra touch there to go for that power strike, but... Man, I, I like that when I make that like pass right there, he just has that physical presence to outbody his opponent there. Oh, I put way too much. No, Holland, Holland, get back to it. Oh man, uh, this card is actually so freaking good in this game. Wow, I am shooketh. I'm literally shooketh right now. Huh. Even the shot cancel just to work that finesse shot angle was nice there. Oh, I almost got that there too. No. What's really cool is that the uh, attackers this year, they can actually defend even if they don't have defensive stats. Like they can do a tackle, they can go for an interception. They may not grab the ball completely, but... They'll still do a pretty decent job. I love that he actually does the quick dribble there, even though he's a physical striker. Like, there's emphasis behind it, but it's not emphasis that you actually mind. Near post from there? Oh, wow. I actually probably should have shot that across goal because the angle wasn't too bad from that 45, but just want to see there. I really like his positioning though, man. Like uh, these types of strikers, if they're next to someone who's agile, it's a really cool combination to work with. Take too much to actually have to do like a turn there to be able to make that pass off. I'm gonna build a play over here on the side first. Bang, he's gonna make that run. Dude, I, I like the way that he positions himself a lot. The positioning is great. You don't want to dribble too much with him. It's just pass and go movement as much as possible, you know? Oh, I almost scored that with his weak foot. No. Not bad. Finesse shot facing away from, uh, from goal too, and he still hits a nice... Nice, we'll take that. We'll definitely take that. In that initial uh, situation there, I actually got the animation out of the defender from the shot cancel. So if I worked with space around me, could have actually been a nice uh, little play right there. A little bit of a hold up play right there using his physical. Wow. Yeah, over there I go for a finesse shot, obviously, sake of the review, but uh, inside the 18 yard box finesse shots are not really like crazy consistent. Um, I do think that EA is actually going to adjust them though, because in those situations right there, um, I think a finesse shot across goal with a player like Holland should definitely be better i think you know with his finishing stats but yeah once you get that uh angle with holland he opens himself up really nicely we can just get that nice little near post power strike there oh wow i actually thought he would score that 
you know what it is too, man, is that I don't use the time finishing, so... Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Holland card. So, um, with the way that the mechanics work nowadays, physical strikers are actually really solid to have in the game, especially if you get them into the right positions at the right time. Um, every time I got onto his left foot and he was in an open area, his strikes came off really, really nicely. Whether that's a cross goal, near post, um, you know, getting into the right position at the right time from the slow buildup, um, I definitely felt like he was a really solid player. He definitely plays to a high, high work rate, but because the buildup works really different nowadays, uh, the way that he kind of comes back and pushes forward is definitely a hugely prevalent thing for a card like this because of the high high work rates working with you know somebody else next to him that could potentially be like the high medium and stuff the more agile type player uh because of that balance that you have between the two uh he could definitely play that lone striker position more uh, or well but it's just a matter of using that target man system laying the ball off to other players making those runs that kind of build up to score more of your opportunities but uh yeah they did a good job with holland this year like i said i thought last year um, he was complete trash. But this year, uh, they definitely did a great job with him. The only thing that you have to take into consideration with Holland is that he is a physical striker, right? So you do have to take that dribble into consideration. But it's not really that big of a deal because once these guys get into good areas, their percentage for strikes is really, really high. So it definitely works out well. And this is obviously me try not trying out uh, the time finishing as well. So some really cool stuff, to be fair. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.